Behind me is the brand new Dacia Spring full electric. This is the facelift basically 2024 model. It is a facelift, but basically if you look at the car, if you look inside the car, you will notice that it's a totally different car. And from my perspective, from my point of view, I think it's a basically another car. And in this video, you will see why. You can see here we are in Geneva International Motor Show at Geneva. And you can see Dacia have two springs right here one i think they call it expression or something like that and this one is the extreme version is the most expensive the top of the range the most full option car that you can get it comes also with a 65 horsepower in this video i will try to go every single details of the car and i try to cover it from my point of view this is the brick red color it looks wonderful on the car and not only this brick red but also this color here look really cool i did already a video about it if you want to see the full review with this one check it out on the channel when it comes to line design the car is totally different the exterior design even though it's built on the same platform the exterior design the lines the shape are gorgeous really nice line the front end it's much more beautiful it comes with this new logo and the new grille it comes with this daytime running light in this a Dacia signature that looks wonderful if you look down there the bumper it's simple but nice everything look really really cool and basically i can say finally dacia spring it's an attractive car with this facelift and if we go on the back of the car you can see that the same thing apply on the back the same beautiful lines round shapes like a proper electric car and yeah pretty pretty attractive and in the back we can see kind of the same signature on the lights tail lights look nice if you look from the way back here you can see that it's a pretty, pretty nice car and they keep, still keep the car price on the same range. And that's very, very important. Now, guys, as I said before, because this is the extreme version, it comes also with some extra feature. For example, this spring here, writing on this sticker is not on the other version. So that's something extra to keep in mind. Let me give you some technical data about the car. So as I said before, let's go to English. This is the extreme version the 65 horsepower so it's the most powerful uh, version that uh, we have here it comes with a new digital multimedia screen 10 inch screen and the 7 inch digital copy that's really cool i will show you later when we go there basically the optional on the car are the dc fast charging system that you are able to charge the car up to 30 kilowatts hour you are able to send the energy because it has vehicle to load system that you are able to send the energy to other electronics this is also cool also the metallic color and the front parking assist it's also optional the price it's not yet official but we will find out soon six colors to choose from really cool colors and i think those two are the most beautiful beige safari and rouge this red brick we have 15 inch wheels they are optional they look really cool you can see the black one here but on the other version you get also 14 inch wheels like you have on this one here behind myself and what else here technical let me go back it's laggy a little bit the dimension of the car it's basically uh, the same so with technical data i will give you even more as we go in the video it has the same 27 kind of 26.8 kilowatt hour battery as on the previous version with a few improvements like you saw before with vehicle to load option radio antenna you can see the same as on the new duster it's not small it's still big and probably on the next version will be a much smaller here you have the roof spoiler right here that is quite simple nothing extra but i like very much the lines that they added on the upper side i like the fact that it comes with a wiper brake light is not led it's a normal bulb light but it's useful because it's very visible up there and i like the fact that this windscreen on the rear it's also heated so in the winter it's super super useful find it really unique those leathers in the back i never saw this on a car before usually you have three-dimensional leathers no on dacia spring you have these holes instead of leather outside they go inside and it's so fancy it's so cool i think it looks so nice and on this extreme version you have this copper color and from my point of view great great idea to add this i hope they will keep it like that with other models in the future as well because it looks really cool this glossy plastic with this uh, lines matte black here it looks really interesting spring electric the same on the same sticker and then you have the button to open the trunk here 
LED lights on the number plate. This is the reverse camera and down here you have the fog lamps. It's also normal halogen light, no LED light. And on this trim version, you have those stickers with some kind of buildings from an upper side, from a 2D view, vision way, I should say. It's really interesting, make the car look much more interesting, but it's just a sticker. Keep in mind, you can add it also on other version yourself or yeah, whatever, because it's a flat surface here, it's almost straight. They have to add something to be not simple and it's really interesting. Some light reflectors and then you have the four parking sensors on the rear. It's a little bit Italian style if you ask me the car, but I like it. The tail lights look lovely from my point of view. Here is the turning signal and here is the reverse light. I will show you a little bit later. Also, they are not LED lights, but they look really cool. So this is the back end of the car. What I like very much is the fact that they add this plastic protection around the wheels. So those wheels will protect the car from scratch and all that stuff. Now down here you have those plastic caps. Basically the rims are plastic caps. Behind them they are the real rims and behind there if we talk about brakes on the rear the car come with uh, drum brakes. That's something to keep in mind. They still keep drum brakes. In the front you have ventilated brake discs but on the rear you have drum brakes. And then down here on the down skirt you don't have any plastic protection. It's just the paint of the car but a little bit higher you have this sticker in kind of carbon fiber design. Then when we talk about doors, handles, pretty much the same. The sound, it's also pretty much the same as on the previous version, so nothing changed here. It's just the handle when you open it, it feels like the quality is a little bit better. And also you can lock the car with the key, the physical key. And here up around the windows, you have some plastic mat. And other than that, some rubber up and down and also matte plastic here. If you look from here, from this angle, you will notice the interesting lines that they added here on the side. And, and it looks really interesting with those lines and make the car much more interesting. The same protection in the front, I love that. And also here in this area, you have some interesting element. But here, I love the fact that they extend this plastic a little bit more than the body of the car. And this way, the car body is protected from stones, from chips and stuff like that, and from rust in time. So this is very useful if you want to hold the car for many, many years. This is nice. Now the front end look also pretty nice. And up here on the windshield, you have a camera, sensors for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, emergency brake, all that safety features work with that camera new up there uh, because it doesn't have any more radar in the front. That's another discussion for other video when I have more time. And here you have the wiper, the same one wiper as, the, as on the previous version. A little bit lower, love the lights here that they transform in turning signals. And a little bit lower, we have the light. And I will show you right now, basically, let me turn on the lights in order to show you that. And I wanna turn on also the hazard light. So I can show you the hazard light a little bit later. You can see this daytime running light is transforming in turning signals and it looks cool. But everything looks super nice until you go down here and you see the low beam and the high beam. They are basically a normal halogen light, kind of a xenon light, but it's a yellow light. So that's a little bit disappointed. Uh, I was, it was better if they had some kind of uh, white light at least, and that will make it look much nicer. But when you look at the car, it's so beautiful, so cool, so attractive. And when you go down to the lights, then you are a little bit disappointed, I should say. But yeah, you can get over it without any problem. When you see this beautiful grill right here with the new logo, that looks really, really nice. In the front, again, four parking sensors. And again, we see here the CEV65. So you see what kind of powertrain the car have what kind of power it has and which version it is. And then you see this sticker in the front. Even without sticker, the car look really cool. Look at it, without sticker, it's much more cleaner design and nicer. And then you have the number here, then you have air intakes up and down to cool down the battery when you need to be cooled down. And here is the mirror cap in the same copper color design, look really cool. And then you have LED lights on the turning signals right here. This is super cool and super useful. In the front, as I said before, ventilated brake discs. Let's go forward because we don't have too much time. So I have to open the charging port and the trunk. But, ah, yeah, let's go in the back. By the way, this is the turning signal. This is the way it looks, right? It looks really cool. I don't think it's an LED light. I think it's a bulb light, but it looks really, really interesting. It's, it's make me confused anyway, when I look at it. 
Let's go in the front. You have a manual lift gate in the front, by the way. Another important thing is the fact that the car, it's able, the battery basically, it's able to send the energy to other electronics. And this is vehicle to load, they call it. We saw it before on Hyundai cars, Hyundai Ioniq 5, Ioniq 6 have the same. And the great part is that now Dacia Spring come with the same electronics. And from here, you can basically send energy to other electronics, to power other electronics and other electric cars and so on it doesn't have a big much power but it's more than enough to use it and this is super cool to have it uh, on the car as well you have ac up to 7 kilowatt hour or dc up to 30 kilowatt hour and you have the vehicle to load of course i'll go in here in the front let me open this hood for you to show you the great part is now it comes standard on this new version with a trunk, a frunk basically in the front where you can add different useful stuff. And this is great because now it's official. If on the pre facelift version, it was some aftermarket options to buy. Now we have this official one and that look just lovely. Otherwise under this, uh, it looks quite the same as on the previous version, but very, very useful. And this is optional by the way. Now I want to go in the trunk, show you the, the trunk, and then we will go inside. We will talk about this new incredible multimedia system and cockpit that I'm a big fan of, to be honest. Open, close this button, open the trunk quite easy. Also, you have this protection here for the trunk, so you can take it out very easy. And also this one, it's super light. You can see I can film in the same time and take it out. It's very light and this is useful for electric cars. This is the entrance in the car, even though they save some costs around here because you have just a little bit of plastic. The great part is that the car itself at the same price and this is incredible. Now, when it comes to entering in the trunk, you can see it's almost square because in these areas where the lights are it's a little bit squeezed so it's not that big i don't know if you can see it on the camera but in reality it's a little bit squeeze out that area there but in general for the size of the car it's much more than enough space to fit a lot of stuff for a city car it's super super spacious from my point of view and yeah you have to see it in real and you will see how much space you have you have some rubber at the entrance some paint here uh, the entrance here it's like 20 centimeters maybe up to 25 centimeters and under the floor you still have a lot of space you can even put a spare tire down there because it's really really spacious now when you want to fold it down the thing is that you have to fold all the way down it's like a complete sofa here in the back all you have to do is just pull these strings and then push it away and that's it this is the the way it looks this is the space there and you don't have a flat floor basically if you look down here you have maybe 10 centimeter deepness but overall it's a lot of space if i'm not wrong around 1004 liters you have with those seats fall down and the great part is that dacia offer you the option to buy like a cargo dacia spring cargo without the second row seats and here you can carry a lot of stuff if you have a company a food company food chain and you have to do deliveries i think will be a great option for you in the future but overall great space here now let me show you also from the side open this up this is the space here pretty big space this is the way it looks in the back the entrance and the quality here behind the seats are okay not the best because you can feel some elements inside there uh, but yeah it's normal i mean you want to have a good price and super high quality for every single thing they put quality in the things that really matter and this for me it's really important on the door of course as you expected you have a window you can fold it almost almost all the way down until here and here you have plastic everywhere on the door so you don't have soft material but the design is pretty nice also i like the handle in this matte gray the button for the windows handle no speaker here or something like that big entrance in the trunk in the back you saw it before and once you are here you will notice also the seats fabric material seats leatherette you have this leather fake leather synthetic leather with the stitches and the stop material in the middle that looks like recycled material like, like that plastic that they use on duster it looks really cool and no armrest in the middle it's just soft material uh, even though you don't have 
seat belt for the middle passenger, they really make it comfortable in the middle. Behind the front seat, you have some stuff material, some storage space, and in the back there, the same story, stuff material, storage space, and you have almost a flat floor down there, and this is super, super useful uh, from my point of view. I wanna go in the front and adjust the seat in my driving position because I wanna see how much space I have in the back. And I'm 173 centimeters, guys. In case you're wondering, and once you go here inside, you will notice the space behind myself, 173 centimeters. You will notice immediately that you, I still have some space here, not too much. So basically, if you are a very tall person, you have to check it out first before you, you buy it or you, you drive here in the back. But the great part is that I can stick my legs under the front seats completely. Over my head, I still have three fingers. For a person up to 175 centimeter will be really okay, but uh, taller than 180 centimeter maybe will be complicated. Visibility outside is good. It's just that the window is a little bit lower. The roof is a little bit lower here, but other than that, it's quite good. I feel quite nice and it's quite comfortable on these seats. Also the roof, it's white, I like that. It's white, it's bright, it makes inside uh, much more brighter and I like that. And also the quality is not bad at all. Let me go in the middle. Right here you can see the space here, it's still okay. You can stay with your legs together, this is fine. Up space, four fingers over my head, stretch my hand almost completely stretch my hand <laughs> almost nah i can't say almost completely but you can see for yourself i think basically it's too too sad it's it's bad that you don't have a seat belt because it's super comfy here basically you stay really good here you feel like in a sofa now let's go in the front because there are the big changes that impressed me the most i really love the new look of the dashboard it looks very similar with the new duster it's very very cool it looks like a proper premium car from this angle you don't know what car you're driving uh it's incredible i love the steering wheel i love the new digital uh cockpit and also the new digital multimedia system and the lines the design look really really cool from my point of view the only thing that i wish it was different is this manual handbrake it's still here for electric cars other than that love almost everything let's go in the front to talk about those here we have a big one window from one piece that means you have good visibility from the interior plastic here on the door everywhere the same as in the back but you have a nicer trim here plus the handle handle and you have some white color white plastic inside these door bands that's super useful because you have plenty of space in the door bands for me it's it's really good you have some uh, plastic at the entrance here plus the normal pedals there and a little bit higher you have this opening for the the front and also for the charging port and a little bit higher you have the position for the lights that you can adjust it from here manually a little bit higher from here you adjust the electric mirrors so you adjust it electrically from here left and right where on the other version you have to adjust it from here manually so that's something really extra cool on this extreme version then you have the vents that feel relatively fine from my point of view in this price range is really cool other than that nice trim on this plastic some white plastic plastic up there uh, it's really cool uh, basically on this price range I think it's it's more than enough the things that the car come with now going to the seats you can see from this angle the same 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 materials almost the same material as on, as on the rear but the design of the seats they are pretty big and you have side support on the upper side you have the new Dacia logo writing right here uh, it's really really cool it's kind of the same leatherette fake synthetic leather plus this textile material here and you have some micro cloth uh, material here in this area plus they are manual adjustable seats so that's something to keep in mind let me go inside the car because it's quite noisy outside and i'm struggling to speak now going here visibility around the windows it's pretty pretty good no problem also in the mirrors also up here visibility in the mirror from my point of view it's super fine and around the windows you have good visibility a little bit of blind spot in the corners in the back but it's fine it's a small car, you can get used with it. Handbrake here in the middle. I wish it was a small button here and use all this space for different items, probably on the next version. But down here you have a lot of space. Down here you have a lot of space for different items. Here you have the light basically. So you can adjust and put this light wherever you want because this is using this U, U clip that they 
bring on the car so you can basically take this light from here and put it wherever you want where you have this u-clip and you have u-clip here you have u-clip in the trunk and in certain position even in the in the back i don't remember exactly where they are but they are almost everywhere down here on the glow box i'm super surprised to see that you have a huge huge glow box here guys really big glow box you can fit in here a lot of stuff i almost put more than half of my hand there and if this space was not enough you still have a lot of space here it's a huge space right here the only thing is that you have some plastic here you have to put some rubber otherwise you will hear always something like that but otherwise super super good space really love it for a small car like that incredible spacious here you have two USB-C plus the climatic system that you can adjust it very simple with physical button great job again and a little bit higher you have another buttons for the windows for example here are the windows button on the on the side here so they are not on the doors plus you have this button that gets you to directly to the uh, safety settings of the car uh, hazard light echo button it's here so you have the echo button here you can see it on the screen plus the lock windows ah that why it was not working the windows was this lock windows uh, button right here positioned a little bit higher you have uh, if you want to start the car, you have to start it in a classic way with a physical key. But around here, you have those vents in the same style as you have it on Duster. Very good quality. They look super nice and they are unique. Plus some green color around here, plastic everywhere on the dash. But very nice, very straight, very cool dashboard. Now going to the steering wheel. Now you can adjust it up and down, but not forward, backward. And you have the same size, the same dimension, the same design as on Duster. But here the quality is not as good as on Duster where you have here, you have some rubber, uh, kind of rubber design. I think you know the feeling from the previous Dacia cars, but it looks lovely. And I like the fact that it's flat up, flat down, really good grip and it looks modern. Here you have physical button for climatic system, autopilot and all that safety features. Those are super useful as well. I really love uh, those functions. The fact that you can use it very simple. Here you have physical button from where you can control this new digital screen that look really cool and make the car look much nicer. But the digital screen, I noticed that is not so customizable as I was expected. So basically you can see some information on the right side there. You can see the car in the middle, the battery, the range, the speed, the driving modes, plus the speed in the speed limit in the middle. And on the right side, you can customize the distance to see the distance consumption, uh, EV information. Those are super useful. And then you have the service mode and yeah. So basically those are all and you can change it also in this way where you can see here what happened with the power when you charge, when you go, when you drive Echo or when you use more power than. Uh, so yeah, basically this is the digital uh, cockpit a little bit higher here. You have the SOS button, you have the lights, a normal bulb, bulb light, halogen light, microphone, this protection for the sun. And let me go to the most important thing and one of the most coolest thing in the car is the new 10 inch infotainment display where you have three buttons physical button up there for the volume and one of them it will close the multimedia system and then I noticed that it's super responsive in comparison with the screen from Dacia Duster this one it's quite straight it's not tilted to the driver it's completely straight I wish it was a little bit tilted to the driver but it's fine now going here Shortcut on the left side, the same as you find it on Toyota. Very, very easy to use, super easy and they work super fast and everybody will learn really easy. This multimedia system is nothing complicated, even though it's digital, it's super, super fast. Now, if you go up here, you have some brightness, traction control button up here and some information about uh, the car, you will find it up here. But if you go to home screen, you can customize the home screen and add whatever things you want here. You can add even the navigation or Apple CarPlay, tire pressure, phone, audio, and you can customize this from the settings. I will show you in a second. 
go to the media here you have all the list with radio sources and all that stuff then you go to the phone here you can connect to the phone super fast and then you go to application where you have android auto apple carplay i will have a separate video check it out on the channel will come soon if it's not already there uh, where i show you how to connect all those stuff and it's super easy then the good part is because this screen is basically act like a tablet the same as on the new renault cars you can go to application and here from the applications you can basically choose to install other application with which Dacia have uh, collaboration with. Right now is no uh, other apps right here to show, but in the future will be. And I hope to see some YouTube uh, and some um, Spotify and all that stuff here soon now going to the car the most important settings are to the car where you go to electric here you have a nice graphic nice view with what happened with energy and with the motors in real time while you're driving i will show you that in the test drive so stay close to see that program here it's again schedule the charging and schedule the uh, different uh, climatic system information then here on the battery you can choose how much battery you want to give to other electronics through vehicle to load and it's pretty cool because you can choose to stop it at certain percentage and you can choose how much you want to charge it daily or journey it gives you also some tips and this is also super useful and interesting then if you go to the settings you have pedestrian warning and uh, if you go to my driving you have also some information here with uh, about consumption kilometer that you drive and energy and then if you go to driving assistance systems you have here all the safety features and you can choose to have all on or you can personalize and if you go to personalize you can choose which of those safety features to use and there are a lot of safety features in which we will talk in the test drive video traction control button it's here of course and active brake it's also here a lot of safety features i hope with those safety features the safety Euron Cup uh, will also grow uh, because that's why it was a um, low score for Dacia because it didn't have those safety features on the cars and it gets a bad rating so I hope the rating will change. Now going to the vehicle settings we have outside access settings, welcome settings, wiper settings, cockpit, screen, widgets you can edit it from here and you can go to uh, tire pressure that I didn't show you and if you go to settings you have all that settings you probably saw those settings the same settings also on the uh, some of the Renault cars if you go to sound you have a lot of sound uh, systems if you go to apps you have all that apps here that the car have installed and if you go to system you have all that language units storage and all that stuff so really really cool really interesting stuff here going on and the climatic system it's basically it will show you really cool down here what happened with the climatic system but you cannot use this as a touch screen so that's something to keep in mind you have to use the controllers the physical controllers from down there so in general i hope i cover everything guys now i want to go outside and show you some really cool feature and the engine and some information about this u clip that you can use it and yeah basically this is the car and now Dacia have exposed here that I want to show you some U-clip accessories. So those are accessories that you can use for Dacia Duster and new Dacia Spring. Probably in the future will be also for other models. But you have this uh, phone holder, you have this light that you saw inside plus the cup holder, the hook. And you have some screen holders. And here is the bag that you can also add it around there in the car. So this is cool. Let me show you the battery. This is... This is the battery. This is the 65 and motor back here, 65 horsepower motor plus the battery, the 26.8 kilowatt hour battery. It looks like that. It's basically very small. It's not like in all other electric cars where you have all the, the floor full of batteries. No, it's just look like that. And it's under located under the uh, back seats. And it's really, really cool, right? It's so small, uh, but it's able to drive up to 200 kilometer and to be honest, if you look here, Renault uh, claim or Dacia claim that you can drive up to 305 kilometers in the city in perfect condition. Check this out, 305 kilometers. Incredible. Eight years warranty or 100, 120,000 kilometers. Great warranty from my point of view. And then if we go to the uh, motor, 65 horsepower motor it's also the motor from here and you can see here some a few information about it it looks it's so 
cute. It's so small, to be honest. And it's incredible how such a small electric motor is able to power the car. And you can see what I notice is that they reinforce to support the higher engine RPM. They reinforce and they, they improve the, the engine. They add some different extra quality to it, I should say, more wires per conductor to allow more electrically uh, current, electric current uh, to flow. So you can see they kind of claim that they improve a little bit the electric motor from the previous version. Not sure about that, but this is what it says here. When it comes to trunk and space, I show you before, it's probably one of the most spacious car in this class, 308 liters in the trunk and if you fold down the seats completely you will go to 1004 liters super super good from my point of view and the storage volume it's 32.7 liters so you have a lot of storage inside the car there uh, to put your different items so from this point of view i think i can agree with that this is the electric motor it looks really cool it's very small it's probably very light i can Basically, I think I can hold it in my hands. I'm not sure how many kilograms it has, but it's very, very small. And yeah, it's great how these two can power a car to get you from work and home and so on. Anyway, basically, I think this is the future with all this technology improved over the year. If you look at a normal engine, how big it is. And if you look at this one, it's just so different. Anyway, guys. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some useful information from this video. If you enjoy it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos. If you want to see the test drive, if you want to see more useful information uh, on all the new cars that comes these days on the market, we have here a lot of new cars like new Jogger facelift 2024. The Dacia Sandero Stepway will come soon. And all other cars in the back there like Duster and so on. Stay close because we'll come on the channel. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you again. See you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.